Attention humans, put your seat in an upright position and fasten your safety belts. Because the brand new Voyage to the Stars collection is now available on Potswag. Some of you are lucky enough to have bodies. I don't, so I have to watch you. Dude, there's t-shirts. One's blue and it says Voyage to the Stars. And there's another one. It says the Asha Voyage to the Stars. Again, I can't wear any of this apparel, so thank you for rubbing it in, Stu. But you can gaze your eyes upon me and just drink in the beauty of the, the swag merch. You're absolutely right. All humans can snazz up their spacesuits or other attire with enamel pins to space but further themed t-shirts and check out all the other exclusive merch on Podswag, courtesy of your favorite podcasts. So start shopping today at podswag.com slash voyage. That's podswag.com slash voyage. It sounds like a very reputable website. I'll tell you what, hopefully they're going to put some of my funny scenes on shirts later. I wouldn't hold <laughs> I your breath. I got a bunch. Would not hold your breath. Oh. Hey, it's me, American Badass Janet Varney, and you're listening to Voyage to the Stars. This is a sci-fi comedy told through improvisation. What does that mean? Well, we have a framework to guide the story, but all the dialogue is completely improvised. So sit back and enjoy this unique voyage to the stars. Captain's Law, GH-78. I guess there comes a time when every captain's got to take a long, strong look in the mirror, because the captain's only as good as his crew, and I'm going to be honest right now, this crew blows. They don't listen to me. They don't respect me. I don't get what's going on. I've done everything a good captain does. I've given a time for everyone to swab the deck and mop the floors. I, I have orders for everything. If anybody comes up to me, I have an order for them. But it just doesn't seem to be commanding respect. I wonder oh. why. Excuse me? Hmm? Did you say something? I, your... I, I was agreeing with you. I said, I wonder why. Yeah, but the way you said it seemed like you knew why. Well, I, I don't. My memory banks have been corrupted, and I don't know if I told anyone that. Well, look, sorry. Uh, it's not going great for me right now. I could say that again. Excuse me? Like, <laughs> could you say that again? I said it's not going great for me right it now. It really isn't, is it, Captain? No, I feel like Elsa and Stu, like, were my closest buddies, and they, like, barely talk to me. And every time I say something, they look at each other, roll their eyes, and then walk out of the room. Mm-hmm. I mean, it just seems like I'll be saying something, telling them, like, maybe a story about my life, like boring. when I was a kid. and Excuse me? Boring into your past. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They act like they're bored with it. And, uh, you know, and so I'm, like, sitting there, and I'm telling them the story, and I think it's really important, you know, obviously. Obnoxious. And, hmm? The noxious fumes of the past coming in to haunt you. Sure. You know, yes, like that. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just need people to respect me. Well, that's never going to happen. Hey, uh... Hey, hey. Arnie! <laughs> yeah, it's me, it's hey, Arnold. Hey, Bob! Hey, yeah, what I prefer, just Arnold. Uh, hey, man, I just... I'm really tired. I'm exhausted. I've been working real hard. Great. Like, the last four days in a row. That's why I love you, man. Which is like a work week in France, so I think I deserve some R&R right now. Uh. Yeah, Arnie. Yeah, me too, right? Yeah. Both you and me should, like, take one of these pods and just take off and uh, go chill out. Yeah, or I could just take it and see what's up, you know. Yeah. Well, soon enough we'll both get a break. But right now it's kind of an all-hands-on-deck situation. We're still flying around here in space. I'll be, I'm going to level with you, Arnold. I got no idea what we're doing out here. Yeah, that's so. my problem with this hands-on-deck thing right now, because you literally have me overseeing the beautification project on Deck yeah. 4. Yeah. I'm literally watching paint dry right now. Great. That is literally what I'm doing. Well, and just making sure no one touches it because you don't want to add a second coat. I appreciate that. Right. So, you know, and I've been doing a good job. I've been observing. And also, that deck's not in use currently, so I don't think anyone's going to come up there and put their hands on the paint. But Not with you watching it. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, if, if you just want to, if I could just take Do it. Do I look stronger to you? Then what? Like then, you know, when we first got on the ship, when you first saw me. Um, 
sure. You've got some more definition. You know, I did uh, before this trip. I was uh, got myself up to doing about fifty push-ups. Uh, and since we've been on the trip, I haven't really been. I kind of slacked off a little bit. But this week, I've been trying to get back into the mix. Yeah. So I'm doing about fifty push-ups a day, a couple jumping jacks, stuff like that. You want to work out sometime? Uh, hard pat. Sure. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah. Um, that'd be great. Oh, Speaking buddy. of push-ups, do you, you remember those ice cream treats that were like orange? Yeah. <laughs> then, oh, those are the best. Arnold with the great reference of a childhood treat. Yeah, so we could just take a day off and go eat some push-ups. I'd, soon I'd, enough. Oh, soon enough, right. Arnold. Soon enough. Uh, you know what? Things were a little rough, but I'm glad that I ran into my good buddy Arnold. He reminded me the whole reason I became a captain is to work with good fellas like him. To space and further. Captain Up. All right, welcome to Stu Croons. This is a fun new segment where my new friend Sari and I are going to do be do be do. Ding dong, Scooby-Doo. ding dong. Hey, Stu, there's a toilet backed up on level three, and it smells a little bit like Stu. So I was like, get him down there. Yeah, uh, I don't flush sometimes, but I will go. Uh, take care of that problem. Okay, thanks. Bye. Immediately. Okay. Dooby dooby doo. Hey, Stu. Uh, quick question. Uh, you know pancakes? Oh, jeez. You know what pancakes are? Of course, I know what pancakes okay. are. Okay. I'm. I'm I, here's my question, man. Okay. If you warm up pancake in a microwave, is it still a pancake or is it just a cake? Because like they call it pancake because it's in a pan, right? You're making like a little cake in a pan. But if you're warming it up in like a microwave or like on this ship where it just sort of materializes, it's just hot dough at that point. Okay. Got so, it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, back to the game. You know, part of the problem is is that you indulge people and you try to actually answer those questions. I mean, otherwise I'll just keep on asking. Like, the, I mean, I'm trying to shut these people down to get them out of here. That's good we're point. doing something important. Stu, hey, uh, okay, if you cut off one antler on a deer, mm-hmm. does it become a unicorn? I think, well, you know, by applying the scientific method, I would say it would most definitely become a unicorn. Got it. Thank you, man. You're a lifesaver. Yeah, no problem. So- I mean, I feel like you just proved my point. You answered his question, and now he feels like he can come to you to have his questions answered. I just don't know how to shut him down. Why don't you try telling him that your memory bank has been corrupted? Okay, I'll try that next time. It works like a charm. Okay. do Hey, 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 uh, Stu. Hey, man. I, I tore my uniform shirt. I want to get it patched up, but I'm not handy with a needle and thread, man. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Look, guy, I don't know who you are exactly, but I don't appreciate you interrupting the podcast I'm doing right wow, now. Wow, guy. Who, who are you? Uh, hey, 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 uh, could you, hey, Arnold. Hey. Um, could you maybe, Stu, there's uh, something wrong with a nanowave pulse initiator? Look. Elsa, I'll worry about it later, okay? Arnold, you look really good. I like the new haircut. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Look, take okay, this I'll... conversation out of my quarters, please. I'm doing a podcast right now. All right, let's yes, go back to the... dude, this really hurts, man. I mean, like, I was on the ship with you going way back. Did I have so many nicknames for you? Man, I don't even know who you are. Sorry. Stuart Little. Dub- Stu Stu. Look, obviously, I recognize you, sort of, but I... I... You but don't, we're not friends. You or don't remember on deck three when we threw that ball around really for a don't. while? I, I mean, really don't. It was a real touching fathery son kind of moment, man. You know, I felt closer to you than I felt to anybody on this ship ever. Yeah, you well, know? I've never had a father, so I wouldn't know what that felt like. Okay, thank you everyone for coming in to Stu Croons. This has been Stu and his new friend Sorry crooning you out. Dooby dooby doo. Science entry cold storage 20.18A. I am in a completely different part of the ship. I am really, really fascinated with what's going on. This seems to be a storage area where artifacts are being still, and I'm, I'm just fascinated. Are all these different crates from different planets? They seem to be, oh God, there's something from Kronos. Moving on. Hey, wait, what? is this oh my gosh um so science log this is an egg shaped egg it's an egg it's probably an egg i'm it's it's egg shaped because it's an egg probably and there's a life force in it and i uh i think i want to put my hands on it is that right if tucker were here i would say don't put your hands on it but you know I have a very nebulous behavior. You know, my awareness and my ability to hear you does extend out all the way into cold storage. Oh, hey, sorry. So in case you needed advice, if only there were an AI who could answer questions about whether or not you're in a safe place or whether or not that egg thing is an egg and whether or not it's safe. 
I'm sorry. I'm used to being alone in my own mind, and I just assume I'm always alone. Oh, did you think I was being sarcastic? No, it was I little... was genuinely saying I wish we had that, because I'm an AI who has lost most of her memory, so unfortunately I don't know if that's safe. You know, often when you say I'm not being sarcastic slash passive-aggressive slash hostile, I feel like it's the opposite of that. It's like not, you know? Well, you would know. See? No, I genuinely respect you, and all of your half degrees. Hmm, a lot of them are over half, like two-thirds. Okay, what is the deal with this egg? I would say in a case of a mysterious egg, it's always best to go with your gut. I mean, it's a really interesting egg. It seems to not just have a hard shell. It seems to be almost like a cartilage-type layers. Mm Mm-hmm, there's Um, a lot of slime involved. It's beautiful, isn't it? I'm gonna touch it. Good idea. What? Oh my gosh, sorry, are you seeing this? (laughs) Are you a little tiny nugget? Did you whittle Luke? Oh my goodness. You got a little fur. Your little fur. Did you, wait. Did you just say mama? Oh my gosh. Oh, let me touch your little head, would you? Oh my gosh, you're the cutest little widdle widdle. And the cutest kid. Sorry, do you know the name of this creature? Yes, I do. It's called a macabre. Oh my gosh, it's such a cute little name, is it? Would you like to go home with Aunt Elsa? Would you like to go home with me? Oh, can I make you some pants? Oh my gosh, I never had a pet. Sorry, I've never had anything alive around me that gave me joy. Like, including humans. This is amazing. Oh, looks like it's the beginning of a new exciting chapter for you. I'm going to keep it. I'm taking it up to my room. Captain's Log, T-E-E-Z. Had a wonderful day today, just doing a little cruise around the ship. And, and, uh, wait, a uh, wait, 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 what is that? <gasps> it's my little nugget. Your little it, nugget? Where'd you get that? I was in cold storage, and I, like, level 17 on the... Is that board. an alien? I mean, technically it's not from Elsa, Earth. Elsa, kill so- it. I order you to what? kill it. Absolutely not. I also remember you killed half a planet, so I don't know why. Okay, I, there it's we go. So you know typical. what? Every, every time you disagree with what the captain has to say, do you have to bring up the fact that I accidentally killed half Genocide a planet? Genocide wow. is just something that comes up okay. in conversation a lot. Well, you know Anywho. what? When you're in charge, you got to wear the big boy pants and you got to make the big boy decisions, and sometimes people die. Well, I'm not going to euthanize this animal. Wow. And you know what? What it does? It makes smiles. <laughs> I don't know what that Did was. Did you just say I'm worse than Hitler? Oh. Is that what that little creature said? <laughs> I didn't hear that. I just heard, what you break your break It what definitely I said I was worse than Hitler. <laughs> One, how does this creature even know who Hitler is? That I, is ancient history. I'm going to write that down. That's part of my research. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, that's kind of a bum rap, Cap. Hey, hey you Arnold. Know? I'm like, you're on par, but you're not worse than, On you par? Know? Arnold, come on. <laughs> All right. I <laughs> yeah, see what you're doing here, buddy. joshing <laughs> with you. <laughs> Well, I'm not going to euthanize this. I'm standing up for myself, and I, but I will confine this creature to my lab so we can do the appropriate test to figure out whether this is a creature that has resources mm-hmm. or background that we need to know. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Is that okay, Captain? I mean, no, <laughs> I, I... I asked you it was funny because I asked you. I don't care. What do you mean you don't care? You don't care what, if I, whether or not I, I approve this? No one listens to you, Captain. No Sorry. one follows your orders. Sorry, you made me captain of this ship. You made yourself, Captain. It's I true. had no choice. It's a stupid system, and it's a ridiculous protocol. Come I have no control. On, Arnold, back me up here. I mean, we could take like a vote, or like do like a heads up, seven up, kind of a blind thing, where people put their thumbs up. Democracy died years ago, Arnold. What are you talking about? Hmm. Failed experiment. Hmm. All right, yeah, sure. I got you. I got your Mac there, Cap. Uh, I'm taking it down to my lab right now. It's just space and beyond, Captain. Don't. Light some sage and pop your popcorn. Drag comedian Roz Dresveles is getting spooky on Starburns Audio. Though far from an expert on the paranormal, Roz explores her curiosity of things that go bump in the night with celebrity guests, psychics, and everyday people. Roz Dresveles is a drag queen comedian, host, writer, and male actress known as the Bargain Bin Beauty. She loves to ask her friends to tell her a ghost story, and her guests have talked about shadowy figures visiting them at night, hearing door slams, creepy voices, and personal ghost haunting tales. Check out stories from Sam Pancake, Deborah Wilson, Celine Luna, and many more. Roz will also share her many personal experiences with the spirits, play fun games, EVP versus EV police, and read stories from listeners. Hey, 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 don't be scared. 
Subscribe now to be sure you don't miss a single episode on Himalaya, iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Be very careful, but don't be afraid. Janet, when you talk like that, it actually makes me scared. Oh, it's not like an ASMR thing where you like the clicking sounds of my... No, I just find it terrifying. Okay. All right, welcome to Chat Stew. Honestly, I'm supposed to be doing some work, but I am not feeling like doing a thing. So, sorry, it is your turn. Go. Okay. Niceness. Oh, two points. Thank you. Yes. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, Stu, man. Question for you. I'm trying to get the food replicator to work, and, uh-huh. like, the pizza that keeps coming out, the crust isn't really pan, man. And, like, I like square pizza, and it's clearly circle. I can't chow on that, man, and I don't know if I'm not setting it right or if there's a shape button I should be pushing, but I cannot wrap my head around this, man, and so I figured I'd come to my best buddy. (laughs) Don't call me that. Find another food, my man. Okay. date bar. Spring rolls, though? I mean, that's an alternate. Is there a button for that? I mean, I don't know. Figure it out. All right. I I just, you know, I'm just hungry because, like, all that work I've been doing because Tucker's been working me hard, man. I mean. Yeah, Tucker sucks. I agree. That guy, yeah, he's the worst, right? He should not be captain. Everyone knows that. I'm going to start calling him Tim Taylor because he's a tool, man. You know? That guy's awful. That's actually pretty funny. (laughs) Thanks. I feel like we're bonding right now. No, we're not. We're not. I just thought I felt really close to you. Yeah, I moment. don't like Tucker. I don't think a lot of people like Tucker. That's not something we're actually bonding over. Right, From an I mean, outsider's perspective who cannot actually experience human emotion, it does seem that you're bonding. Sweet. Okay, we both agreed Tucker is a tool. Awesome. We're yeah. best friends now, I suppose. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, I just feel like this is, like, generally held sentiment among everybody. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he's yeah. bad. I just feel like any of us could do this job a little bit better than him, <laughs> you know? I mean, like, anybody, I don't know, maybe, like, your best pal Arnold could <laughs> totally, like, do this. You know? You know what I'm saying? He probably could, Stu. We will all agree that Tucker sucks. Awesome. Awesome. So I have your support. You have nothing of mine, so talk soon, all right? Well, I think that went very well. <sighs> I don't like him. I know that. I don't like him at all. Well, you're making yourself too available. You're only 0.275 miles away from the main part of the deck. I wish there was a better way I could just let him know that I do not want him around me. Well, you could try to go a little further away on the ship. I'm interested. There's a far hole that you might be interested in. I'm going to go check at that far hole. Bring uh, a jacket. So done deal. And a pair of wading boots. I don't know why I would need And know. snowshoes. Okay, now I'm getting scared. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to go to the far hold where it seems to be cold and wet. Where you will definitely need a thermos. And a thermos. Full of motor oil. Okay. All right, this has been Chastu. Bye. Science entry alien 18.1A. We're in my room, and somebody was a little scamp and went pee-pee on my cot. Oh, it's okay. I know. So I took a menstrual pad and I made a diaper out of it. It looks so cute on you. Oh, yes, you are. Uh, I know I need to put my science hat on and just analyze this thing, but it's a snuggle master. Are you a widow snuggle master? Come over here and just snuggle in my armpit. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. So uh, I am trying to do some observations. The fur that's sprouting on my uh, animal here is turning into a rainbow color. Mm. It's a little bit pearly and luminescent. And at the ends, it's just like glowing. <laughs> and little eyes are big. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you can't just give me a kiss. You know... I never had a pet. I think I mentioned this before. My dad thought that animals were only to be used and exploited. Uh, it was a little provincial, a little oh. bit, uh, yeah, I know. He's a bad man. Yeah, yucky, yucky. Some people don't love their daughters enough because they're firstborn. They just named him first. So that's his name, first. And then there's Elsa, and they don't care about me. Mm-hmm, no, they hated me. One time, I adopted a tarantula. And his name was Steve. And my dad took it and he smashed it in front of me. Sad. So anyway, I gotta come up with a name. I don't want a name. It's not professional. Do you need help finding a name? Um. For the macabre? Macabre? Well, I mean, do you have any suggestions? Sorry. Well, you could just do the conventional thing and shorten the word macabre to something catchy, like Mac. Mac and me? Hmm. I think Who's going to believe a story about a girl and her alien friend called Mac and me? I think I'm going to love it. 
Mac, do you like that name? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you ever have a mama and a dada who <laughs> rejected you and treated you like dirt and took everything that you accomplished and grounded under their heels so Not that... Not to interrupt, but you are getting very personal with some very sad information with a thing that you don't really know and you don't know if it understands you, frankly. I mean, it does. Look at his little <laughs> smile. He knows the <laughs> emotional pain of being ostracized and nothing you do is appreciated and then you, you're sad and then you bury yourself in intellectual pursuits because you can't find love. Half degree. Half degree. Oh my goodness. Mac, you know me so well. That's right. I am just bouncing from subject to subject looking for some kind of reinforcement of approval. My whole life is just hanging on the approval of two people in my life. It's a mama and a dad and I'm never going to get it. I can't believe that this tiny creature is giving you the emotional breakthrough that you as a human feel you need. I'm speechless. I mean, this is incredible. I don't care. And you know what? Screw Tucker, all right? To shame me in front of the whole crew about our affection for each other and our codependence. I mean, listen, you need me, I n I love you, you love me, we're a happy family. Oh, wow, that, uh, whatever's dripping from your mouth is like acidic, it just, there's a hole in the deck. <laughs> Let's just find out later what to do. So screw Tucker, he's not even a good captain, anyway. Let's play Bouncy! That's such a cute little sound! Oh, look at it hiss. Wow, look, it looks like there's some poisonous glands back there with your molars. I'm so gonna cute. leave you two to it. Okay. I well, can see I'm needed elsewhere on the ship, somewhere less horrifying. Okay. Lo oh, look, the little claws. Oh, okay. Don't tear up that car. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Okay, she can actually eat wood <laughs> and metal. Okay, that was my fingernail. Okay, I gotta go to the med bay. All right, we are chat stewing right now, and my God, it feels so good to just be here alone with my friend Sari. Yeah, just, I'm, I'm right here. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Just to kind of relax and get away from everybody. This is what I'm talking about. Finally, some peace and quiet so Stu can just be Stu and get his vlog out there to the people. Oh, well, this is an interesting little device. What? No. Whoa! <laughs> okay, um, oh. that looks just like me. It it appears you've stumbled upon some sort of cloning device. Is that, is that what that is? Uh, um, hello, are you Stu? Hey, Stu. Do you like the smell? Yeah. What happened? Okay, hold on, let me just try to do Oh, God. Oh, my Lord. There's, like, uh, bunches of me now. Approximately three dozen. Okay, um, okay, I don't want, okay, um, okay, sorry, uh, can you close off this area right now so no one else can see what's happen actually happening right now? Closing down bay door. Okay, uh, hey, uh, so, Stu's, um, what's going on? Why, why, why are they here right now? They I wish I could tell you, unfortunately, this machine is not in my database. Okay. I prefer them to just go away, if that's possible. They're... I'm afraid you're on your own there, well, maybe so to speak. Paper. Okay, well, maybe this will be good. All right, well, uh, hey, guys, uh, you, welcome to my vlog, and um, hey, Stu, you're pretty handsome. What's your secret? You know what? That's a trade secret. I'm not telling you. You shouldn't tell. I wouldn't tell either. <laughs> this is going to be awesome, I think. Right? All right, people I can finally relate to. Stu's! My Stu's! Okay, chat Stu out. We'll see you more later. Captain's Log, W-L-O-L. -L. I am plotting a course to another star system, and it's easier than I thought. I uh, have this great star map up here, so I can just tap different stars and... That's really not how it works. No? No. That's probably only, uh, you know, to the untrained eye uh, that it doesn't work, but, uh, you know, if I was to reprogram this, which I, I could do... You don't know how to do that. No, not yet, but... At some point, I'm going to find somebody who can reprogram this thing, because it would be a lot easier if I could just tap on these stars and we could go there. That would be that would be, that would be, be pretty cool. Hmm. Hey, Sorry. Cap. Hey, what's up? Brought everybody, uh, hey, brought, brought everybody down here. Uh, 
Oh, is it my birthday already? <laughs> hey, all right. <laughs> uh, it's not, Cap. Uh, well, I just want to say I accept all of your apologies. I don't uh, think we're are... here for that. I'm so sorry. Look, uh, we're uh, we're just we're a little uh, overworked. We're a little tired, and we need things to change around here, man. All right, okay, well, we can flip the rotations over, and instead of going alphabetical order, we'll do them by height. Uh, it's hard for me to say this, but I think we need to make some major changes around here, man. Sorry, uh, what would it take to, uh, I don't know, ch- change the chain of command? <laughs> well, that's an incredibly complicated process. Let me take you through at least some of the steps. Great. It would take someone else proclaiming themselves as captain and one person seconding it. Okay, well, let me think about how we could go about it. Uh, I'm captain. I'm the captain. Uh, okay, hold me, on a me, second. Nobody second now. that. Nobody second that. Make an argument, Co- Tucker. Wait. Guys, what are you doing here? I know things haven't been perfect, mm, yeah. but I stepped up when nobody else would. And let us not forget that I was the one who led our ship out of a time loop that was going on over and over again. And committed genocide. I was the captain that led us away from the wormhole after it closed. You really did nothing. It was basically sorry. Thank you. It was me who created that chore wheel that everybody spins <sighs> to figure out what chore they're going to do. Now, if hold on, I know, hey, hold on, but if that chore wheel wasn't there, then everybody would choose to sweep the floor. So I would like to say and look you in the eye, Tucker, and say but I second. I second the motion. Second acknowledged. New captain. Captain Arnold. Uh, not quite sure uh, exactly what's going on. It, it, I mean, I will be an amazing captain. I love I the sound of that, you guys. Well, I uh, guess that no, means no. that I'm no longer the captain, but I want to leave some parting memories here. And I'd just like to say that... Um, We're switching co-hosts. Wh- Log out. Wh- Voyage to the Stars was partially improvised by and stars Steve Berg as Stu Merkel, Felicia Day as Science Officer Elsa Rankford, Colton Dunn as Captain Tucker Lentz, and Janet Varney as Sorry, the AI. With special guest Cole Stratton as Arnold. Voyage to the Stars was created by Ryan Koppel and produced by Morgan Kruger, Ryan Koppel, and Janet Varney. All dialogue was recorded by Stephen Ray Morris at Starburn Studios. Story producing and editing provided by David Burgess. The coordinating producer is Josh Richman. The supervising editor is Brett Morris. Sound designed by Ryan Connor and Devin Torrey Bryant and title theme composed by Brett Morris. Voyage to the Stars is a production of Madison Wells Media in association with Earwolf and Stitcher. You can listen to ad-free new episodes of Voyage to the Stars, plus exclusive bonus episodes only on Stitcher Premium. For a free month trial, go to stitcherpremium.com and use promo code VOYAGE. 